Thank you to Kenneth Copeland Ministries for sowing the airtime for this broadcast. There's enough power in every sick room and in every hospital room to raise up that sick one that may be describing you. Yes, you yes. may be in a sick room. Yep. You may be in a hospital room. And I want to remind you, power is present. That power is there to do a work. Believe in what's present, not try to get something, but notice that he's already made it yours. It's present right where you're at. Say, I receive that power. I receive that power. I receive it right now. I receive it right now. From the top of my head. From the top of my to head. the soles of my feet. The soles of my feet. Welcome. We're so glad you're with us today for Jesus the Healer. Come on in and bring your faith. Yes. Bring your Bible. Yes. Bring something to take notes on and expect to hear from God today. Yes. Amen. Yes. And uh, add this, expect to change. Amen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> because you know what? If we can hear something that will bless us, but if we don't change to implement it, uh -huh. yeah. right. we don't receive all we could or should receive. You know, um, every service, every time we go to a church service, every time we feed on the word, mm -hmm. every time we spend time with God, we should expect change. Right. Yes. Yes. Amen. Look to change. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, something in us to come up higher. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Change the way we think, change the yes. way we speak, yes. change the way we respond. Why? Because the word tells us we are changed from glory to glory. Yes. So Amen. how can he take us further in his flow of glory as we change? Right. Amen. So look to change. If we get rudd and say, well, bless God, I know I'm right. Uh, the glory you're in right now is about all you're going to walk in. <laughs> because to go further for all of us, for all of us to go further in the glory of God, what that glory holds for us, um, we need to change. So I say this, expect change. I change. I want to make change, right? We don't want to get rutted and set like concrete to where God can't manipulate and mold us and shape us and form us more into, into more of what belongs to us. Amen. Amen. Um, we've been talking about my go back, watch previous episodes because I'd love to be able to repeat some of these things, but I got 71 pages of notes here. I got to get through and I can't get through them. If I repeat them, I do endeavor to go slow. It's important to go slow. I, I stay and restate things because faith comes by hearing and you have to hear it more than once. Um, and two, to recognize and not let something slip by you. I don't want things to pass by quickly. So I do on purpose repeat myself, but um, we can't go back and repeat everything. So go back and watch the previous episodes to this series that we've started. We're teaching on something that is critical to our faith life. Yes. It's critical to our health. Yes. It's critical to our prosperity. Yes. It's critical to our homes and our family into the plan of God for yes. our life. Yes. Um, it's yes. called walking in love. Yes. Yes. Um, faith is the currency of heaven. It's yes. how we conduct right. business with God. We cannot conduct business with God without faith. Right. Yes. But um, without love, faith doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. And when I'm, when I'm teaching in these, these episodes on this series, mm -hmm. I'm talking about two different kinds of love, human love or divine love. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Human love is what we, is all we could walk in until we were born again. Right. Yes. That's yes. all that's available mm -hmm. to the man who is not born again is human love. That's it. Mm -hmm. He can't walk in anything but human love. Yeah. But once we're born again, divine love comes in us. Yes. Why? Because the nature of God comes in us. Yes. The life of God comes in us. Yeah. And God is love. Yes. So now we have his nature, which is a love nature. Amen. When God moves, love moves. Yes. When God speaks, love is speaking. Amen. Amen. And that's to be our flow. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we're done with human love. We right. put it away. Yeah. 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 Now we've got divine love. Yeah. Why? It trumps human love. Yeah. Human love is all about 
how I feel, right. how I think. Right. How you treat me determines how I treat you. That's human love. Right. That's good, Divine love is how I treat you is how God treats me. Amen. How God treats me is how I'm going to treat you. Yes. Not how you treat me, right. how God treats right. me. Amen. Amen. Two different things. Yes. So we put away human love. We're done with it. Yeah. Human love falters. It, fa- it, it, it can... It can Look like it'll succeed for a time, right, but right. then it's going to quit. Yeah. Yeah. And if it stays, if I could say this, if people say, well, I'm still walking in love, I'm still married to my spouse, but they've lost kindness. Mm-hmm. Right. There's, there's no more joy in it. Mm-hmm. That's because human love doesn't, it can't go the distance. Right. It Amen. can't go the length. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. But divine love never quits. It never That's runs right. out. That's right. Why? Good. It trumps everything. So we're done as believers, yeah. as Christians, we're done with, the, with human love. We put it aside. Yes. It's no longer based on feelings. It's no longer based on how I, how, how I think. Yeah. It's based on who's in me. Uh, who's in me. Letting that divine love that is now in us, we draw on it. Mm -hmm. And as we draw on it, it can flow out in a lesser measure or a greater measure. We want a great measure, Mm -hmm. a great degree Mm -hmm. of the love of God flowing out. That's determined by us, not by God. It's by how much we yield to it and how much we become skillful and how much we let the the love of God define how we think. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Divine thinking is his word. Yes. His word is divine thoughts. Yes. So now our love, mm. the, this, this divine love is defined by the word. It's no longer divi- defined by feelings because right. right. yes. that's how human love is defined, right. not divine love. Yes. So we have to go to God himself to find out how this love thinks. Mm. That's so good. The wisdom of God, yes. The, yes. the genius of God yes. is, is, this, is the flow of this divine love. Right. Amen. So Amen. we got our homework cut out for yes. us. That's what I mean. We, we never reach the end of discovering mm-hmm. how much, mm-hmm. how far divine love will take us. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Um, Romans 10 verse 17 says, uh, faith comes mm-hmm. by hearing and yes. hearing by the word of God. But once faith comes, that doesn't mean it's working. Yes. Right. That's right. It's right. come, mm-hmm. uh-huh. but it's not working. It's not working. Galatians 5 verse 6 tells us how love works. Faith works by love. It comes by, faith comes by hearing, but it only works by love. So when, when we're done walk, if we, if we step outside of love, we all, we also, our faith was interrupted. It can, it can go no further. If we call faith the vehicle, love is the engine to that vehicle. And if, if that engine isn't operating, that faith goes nowhere. That vehicle of faith doesn't move anywhere. So these are the things we've been talking about. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1, the Amplified Classic Translation says, eagerly pursue and seek to acquire, or we could say this, develop. Develop, give place to, acquire your skill with this. That's what it's talking about. Acquire Acquire your skill with this love. Make it your aim, your great quest. You say, well, I've been praying for God to give me his love. No, he's in you. So his love is in you. His nature is in you. The love of God is in you. The word tells us the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts. It's not in your feelings, in your emotions, but you draw that love out of your heart and make your feelings and your emotions comply with that love. Amen. Um, I want to finish a story. Dad Hagen said something, and I started a story yesterday and got a good part of it finished, but there's a, a, an additional part to it I want to touch on today. But it, we, we prefaced it with something Dad Hagen said. Uh, Kenneth Hagen was our spiritual father, and uh, he made this statement, I count more on my love walk to keep me healthy than my confessions of faith. Mm-hmm. Confessions of faith are right, but they don't work when we're not on the territory of love. That's right. Amen. Yes. If our love stops here, our faith stops here. No matter how much we're feeding our faith, no matter how much we're hearing the word, no matter how many sermons we're listening to, 
If our love only goes this far, our faith only goes this far. Right. Amen. 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 The further we go, letting love dominate mm -hmm. us, letting love, our faith extends, so good. goes Very further. Good. Amen. So that's why Dad Hagen said, I count more on my love walk mm -hmm. yeah. to keep me healthy than my confessions of faith. Confessions of faith are right. Yeah. We right. should do that. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it. It won't do any good till you're on love's territory. Right. You have to be on mm -hmm. love's territory making those confessions. Yeah, yeah. If we're off of love's territory, we're not walking in love, mm -hmm. and we make confessions of faith, they go nowhere. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because faith works by love. Mm -hmm. yes. And if love has shut down, mm -hmm. if yeah. love is not operating, yeah. Faith is shut down from moving forward. Wow. It's not operating. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. You may making you yeah. may be making sounds of faith. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's it. But that faith isn't moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. That faith isn't 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 making progress. So um, then Brother Hagen also made this statement: If symptoms show up in my body, the first place I check is my love walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. Am I treating some? Have I mm -hmm. have I treated mm -hmm. people out here right? right. Mm -hmm. But I also have to remind you this, love, the love of God, divine love. And I, I endeavor to refer to love, divine love, because yes. I don't want to confuse it with just human love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Divine love is not just from us, this direction of people. Divine love is also how we treat God. Yes. Are we obeying him? Right. Are we honoring him? Are we giving him and his word first place? How we treat his word is how we're treating him. Right. That's right. If we're not honoring his word, we're not honoring him. him. Mm -hmm. We've stepped out of love with God. Yes. Yes. We're not walking in love toward him. Yes. Amen. So I was talking about, Brother Hagen was in, on the previous episode, I was talking about Dad Hagen was in a church. And he made the statement quoting John. And he said, um, John said, if you hate your brother, the love of God's not in you. You're a, you're a murderer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and the life of God is not in you. Right. And a pastor's wife, the pastor's wife of that church at dinner after the service said to Brother Hagen, said, Brother Hagen, you've confused me. And he says, no, I didn't confuse you. He said, you were confused before I got here. <laughs> and what I preached showed up your confusion. <laughs> and he said, what are you confused about? And she said, I hate my mother-in-law. But you told, you said tonight that if you hate your brother, you're a murderer and the love of God's not in you. The life of God's not in you. And Brother Hagen, in the course of that, it was, I, I, I did leave this part out. He said, when it, during the service, he said, if you hate your brother, you're a murderer and the love of God's not in you. And he said, that includes your mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. He didn't know that she was struggling yeah. right. with her yeah. thinking toward her mother-in-law. Yeah. So after, at the dinner that night is when she said, I hate my mother-in-law to him. <clears throat> now see what she doing. She's talking about human love. Yes. Yeah. That's right. What's the word talk about? Divine love. Divine love. What's in us? Divine love. Yes. yes. Because divine love is in us, <clears throat> God expects us to walk out of divine love and leave human love behind. We're That's done right. with that. Right. She was holding on to human love. Yeah. yeah. So she was just out of her emotions, out of her own thinking. She, she had decided she didn't like her mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. But when you decide you don't like someone, even if they talk nice to you, you hear it offended because mm -hmm. you have to be offended to not like them. Mm -hmm. That's, right. Right. That's yeah. right. You have to take offense yes. to not like yes. someone. Yes. Yes. So even if they're being kind, if you're operating out of human love and you're operating out of offense, even they're not saying something offended, you'll hear it offended. That's right. yeah, that's You're, it, it distorts the way you hear things yeah. and how you yes. take it in. Yes. And this is what was happening to this pastor's wife. She was taking in everything wrong that her mother-in-law did and said because she was offended with her. Right. She had decided to be offended. Right. Offense is a choice. It is. It's a choice. That's right. So when she said, I hate my mother-in-law, Brother Hagen knew that she, he knew she's born again. What she's doing, she's letting her flesh rule her. Right. She's not letting the love of God, the divine love that's on the inside of her, dominate her. Right. She's drawing on her flesh instead of drawing on that divine love. Yeah. Listen, you can draw on any part of you you want. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 
you can draw on offense. You can yeah. draw on, yes. you know, yes. unforgiveness. You can draw, but you can draw on the love of God. You can draw on peace. You can draw on yes. victory. Yes. You can draw on healing. Yes. You can draw on anything you want to draw on. Amen. That's true. Amen. But not everything will arrive you where you want to be. <laughs> and so she was drawing on offense. Mm -hmm. And then she thought, well, the love of God isn't in me because I'm offended. Mm -hmm. She's talking about human love. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, her mind wasn't renewed that once yes. you're born again, the divine love is in you, mm -hmm. drawing right. it. So um, Brother Hagen said to her, because he knew, he knew, he knew the love of God was in her. She just wasn't yielding to it. Yeah. So he said, look, at, look me straight in the eye and say this. I hate my mother-in-law, but at the same time, check on what's going on down in your spirit. So she looked at Brother Hagen in the eye and said, I hate my mother-in-law. And he said, now, when you said that, what was going on in your spirit? She said, there's something down there scratching me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meaning there's something gnawing at me. Yeah. Right. Something in there is not settled. Mm -hmm. Something isn't right. Well, this is what Romans 5, verse 5 says. The love of God has been shed abroad in our heart. What was that? The love of God was in there trying to constrain her. Right. Yeah. Don't say that. I have had times mm -hmm. when I, I was even, I've even preached it, you know, over, I've preached almost, I don't know, my goodness, 35 years or so now. There have been times when I was preaching and I'd say something and something on the inside of me, if I could say it, kind of grabbed me. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? I go, oh, I shouldn't have said that that, I should maybe I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have said it the way I said it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. What was that? That was the love of God. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say it that way again. That's good. That's a help. Don't get offended at that. Thank God for that. But see, that's what the love of God was on the inside of her constraining her. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't, don't say that. Now see, if you keep overstepping that, you'll lose the sense of him, you'll, you'll, of his dealings with you. You'll completely override him. You won't even sense him anymore. You'll lose your sensitivity to that. You don't want to keep stepping over that because you'll, you'll, you'll desensitize yourself to his, that love that constrains. So he said to her, what happened on the inside of you when you said, I hate my mother-in-law? She said, something in there was scratching me, meaning that didn't sit right with me. And he said, that's the love of God in you. You've got it in you. You've just been yielding to your flesh. What's she doing? She's yielding to human love, right. not Amen. divine love. So he said, draw on divine love. Say, I love my mother-in-law. I, I thank God for my mother-in-law. You see? And so she did that. Brother Hagen was there in that church for a while. And uh, for several days, maybe possibly weeks, I don't remember. And over the course of time, the next day or so, she had invited her mother-in-law to the house for dinner. Mm -hmm. And she told Brother Hagen a few days after that, she said, Brother Hagen, I invited her over for dinner and said, I enjoyed her so much. What was it? See, the devil was deceiving her, yeah. duping her yeah. into a flow outside of love. Right. Yes. Yeah. And it was troubling her life. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and she said to Brother Hagen, she said, I thoroughly enjoyed my mother-in-law. I love my mother-in-law. Why? Because she decided to draw yes. right. on divine love. Yes. Amen. But see, people have to be taught. You have to be taught. I have to be taught. We have to be taught these things. Amen. So she basically decided to be in good standing with her family. Yeah. You know? Life's too short to live it unlovely. Yes. Right. Life's just too short to live it unlovely, yes. right? Amen. And so she basically put a right flow in, mm -hmm. in her life yeah. in place. Brother Hagen, while he was there at that church still over the course of time, he uh, received a phone call one night right before he went to preach at their church. And it was this pastor's wife. And she said, Brother Hagen, she said, we have a, little, a boy, a little boy. I don't know his age. He's still quite young, but said he has epileptic seizures. Mm -hmm. We've taken him to some of the best specialists in this field. 
and they say this is the worst case of epilepsy they've ever seen in 30 years of medical practice. Wow. Wow. The worst case. And said there are preliminary symptoms that start showing up before he goes into one of these epileptic seizures. And she said he started just now having one of those preliminary uh, symptoms yeah. start showing up. Before you go to church tonight, because he was getting ready to drive to the service, mm -hmm. would you stop by our house and minister to him? Mm -hmm. And Brother Hagen said, yes, I will. On the way over there, the word of the Lord came to Brother Hagen and said, when you get to their house, you go in there and you tell that mother, don't even pray for the child. You tell the mother to turn to that child and say, Satan, you take your hand off my child. I'm walking in love now. Look at that. I'm walking in love now. Didn't even bring up a healing scripture. Brought up the divine love. If we're not walking in love, healing scriptures don't work. Why? Because faith isn't working. It's not that the scripture isn't working. But our faith in the scripture yeah. isn't working. Right. So that scripture won't work for mm -hmm. someone not walking in love because right, right. their faith isn't working. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. Faith works faith by love. So that woman here, this boy, when the, by the time Brother Hagen got there, he was in a full-blown epileptic seizure. Mm -hmm. Brother Hagen told her what God said. Tell her to turn to that boy and say, Satan, take your hands off my child. I'm walking in love now. She turned around. He said, it didn't take her any time. She turned around and said, Satan, you take your hand off my child. I'm walking in love now. Said, like you snapped your finger, that epileptic seizure stopped. Just like you snapped your finger. What was that? She got... She was on love's territory. Yeah. So what wasn't love couldn't keep operating. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But what is it? What do we see that was the open door to that epilepsy on her son was she wasn't in love before. Right. 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 She wasn't walking in love. When she got off of love's territory, she got onto sin's territory. Yes. And when you're on sin's territory, that's the devil's territory and he's got the right to attack you or anything under your authority. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's right. Your children, mm -hmm. your yes. business, yes. anything, anyone in your home, if they're under your authority, he can attack anyone under your authority. So your love walk is not just connected to your happiness. Right. It's connected to God's blessing upon everything within your authority. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. 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 Now, the interesting thing that Brother Hagin said in teaching this, he said, she had spent years not walking in love. Mm -hmm. But the moment she made one step right. back into love, her faith worked. Wow. Amen. Amen. See, she didn't have to take years yeah. to get back yeah. into once she, once she got back onto love's territory. Yeah. See, you might not have been walking in love. Yeah. Yeah. You might not have been yielding to the right thing. Mm -hmm. But once you decide, I'm going to walk in love, That's right. divine love. Oh, I'm going to let the love of God dominate me at that moment. Now you're back on love's territory. Faith works. Yes. Faith in the word works yes. and you can receive instantly yes. what belongs to you. Yes. Amen. 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 He said years later, he saw that family again and he asked the mother, did the epilepsy ever, did your son ever have any more epileptic seizures? She said one time about two years after that, she said, those preliminary symptoms started. Mm -hmm. Listen what she said. She said, I turned to my son and says, oh, no, you don't, devil. I'm still walking in love. Yes. I'm still walking yes. in love. Yes. So that makes sense of why Dad Hagen said, I count more on my love walk yes. to keep me healthy than my confessions of faith yes. because love is God's realm. Yes, that's right. God's realm is a love realm. Yeah. Amen. God's territory is love territory. Yes. When we're walking in love, we're on his grounds. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, you know, if, if you own land, that's your land to walk on. Yes. If you get on another man's land, you're trespassing. Right. 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 Amen. 
any part of God's territory, any part of God's realm we can walk in. Yeah. Love is that territory. Yes. Yes. As long as we walk anywhere on love's territory, we're safe. Yes. We step out of that, we're trespassing onto sin's territory. Yes. Yes. And we have a right, to, the devil has a right to attack us. Yes. Walking in love is not just advised. Yes. <laughs> it's mandatory. Yes to receiving and walking in the victory. And this is why many times people are confessing faith scriptures. It's good to confess faith scriptures, healing scriptures, prosperity scriptures. What territory are you on? Are you on love's realm? On love's territory? Love's property? Or have you left love's property and gotten on sin's property? Wow. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for those of you right now. If you say, Pastor Nancy, I can look and say, I know the, the, the spirit within me, my, the Holy Ghost within me, he, he's prompted me. I've not been walking in love toward this person or that person. Just correct it right now. Just, I choose. It's a choice. I choose to let the love of God dominate me. Say this with me. I choose, I choose to let the love of God, love of God divine, love, divine love that's in me, that's in me dominate me. Dominate me. It will take the lead. I follow God. I follow follow love. love. So now now I'm on love's territory. territory. Satan, you take your hands hands. off my body, off my my mind, off my my home, off my my children, off my my business, business. because I'm on love's territory territory. and I'm safe on love's territory. territory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, we've been teaching out of our book called Love, The Great Quest. We want you to get your copy. And as we say, don't just get a copy for somebody else. (laughs) Get a copy for yourself too. Amen. And you can get that copy at DufresneMinistries.org or JesusTheHealer.org. Go there and order your copy and we'll get it right out to you. And until next time, remember this, Jesus is the healer. God bless you. To watch or listen to today's message and other messages by Nancy Dufresne, visit DufresneMinistries.org. Love is to lead and govern us, and we are to make it our quest to pursue the way love leads. Victories await us as we learn to walk in the truths of divine love found in this book by Nancy Dufresne. Order Love, The Great Quest now at DufresneMinistries.org. This is Pastor Nancy Dufresne inviting you to join us in Murrieta, California at World Harvest Church for our annual Holy Ghost meetings. The dates are January the 5th through the 10th. We're inviting everyone to go to our website at DufresneMinistries.org and register. We look forward to seeing you there. God bless you. In this series, How to Keep Your Healing by Nancy Dufresne, learn how to skillfully stand your ground against the enemy's strategies and enjoy your total victory. Order now at DufresneMinistries.org. We trust you've enjoyed this message. Visit us at DufresneMinistries.org to learn of our upcoming meetings, share your testimony, submit a prayer request, or visit our online store. Thank you to the friends and partners of Dufresne Ministries for making this production possible.